Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, your home for NFL talk here on YouTube. My name is Mike. Guys, I'm continuing my 2014 NFL Mock Draft version 3. This video is for picks 11 through 20. Be sure to check out the two separate videos for picks 1 through 10 and 21 through 32. But, you know, as we venture into pick 11, which belongs to the Tennessee Titans, you know, after they hired Ken Wisenhunt as the head coach, and Ray Horton as the defensive coordinator, you know, I thought they'd go for a defensive player that fit that hybrid scheme that Horton likes to run. And Anthony Barr, to me, will be here at pick 11, you know, the outside linebacker from UCLA, a natural fit here, a guy you're going to hear debated as far as his NFL future here the last couple months, one of the most polarizing prospects. But I don't think he slips past pick 11 here to the Titans. At pick 12, you have the Giants, and the Giants have a multitude of needs. Um, and on the, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, the linebacker position is one that they sorely uh, need to improve in. I don't see a lot of solutions on the free agent market for the Giants other than maybe bringing back John Beeson if they want to. So C.J. Mosley, the linebacker from Alabama, makes a lot of sense. He's a three-down linebacker. He can is a guy who can develop into a future leader of that defense. And again, you know, when's the last time the Giants have had you know a steady, consistent? You know, Pro Bowl type linebacker that I think Mosley can develop into. Pick number 13 belongs to the Rams. And early on, I had the Rams picking Jadavion Clowney. All right. And with this pick, I think they fill another need they have for a playmaking, you know, wide receiver opposite Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey. You know, I'm talking about a guy like Mike Evans from Texas AM, a legit outside, down the field threat who can be, you know, a dynamite player, not only in the red zone but on deep balls and really give Sam Bradford uh, the ability to basically throw the ball up for grabs, sort of similar to Matthew Stafford and the way Jay Cutler can as well with his receivers in Chicago. Pick 14 belongs to the Bears, and for a while I had the Bears going defensive tackle, but I think when you begin to look into things a little bit more, you have Major Wright that's a free agent. You have Chris Conti, who was terrible last year. I think safety is a, is a glaring need for that team, especially in the division they play in with a lot of passers, right, whether it's Jay Cutler, Matthew Stafford, all right. I think they go ha-ha Clinton Dix here from Alabama. He's far and away the best safety available. He's still on the board here at pick 14. Clinton Dix to the Bears. Pick 15 belongs to the Steelers. The Steelers, again, another team similar to the Giants. We're on the defensive side of the ball. They have a lot of needs, a lot of turnover happening within that organization. They've had the same starters on defense, it seems, for a decade. All right, but the turnover is going to start to happen, and I think Lewis Nix, the defensive tackle from Notre Dame, can be a guy that's a fit there. I think he could play nose or play the defensive end position as well in the 3-4, and I think it's something they sorely need. And you look at when the Steelers were you know, in their heyday here in the last decade, those, you know, the Casey Hamptons of the world, the Brett Kiesels, the Ziggy Hoods were really anchoring things there, and I think they get a steal here this late in Lewis Nix. Uh, pick number six, uh, 16 belongs to the Ravens, and I think the Ravens take best player available, okay? And if it's a position of need, I think that, you know, confirms it even more for them. And to me, Taylor Luan, the tackle from Michigan, is the best player on my board left here. He fits a natural need position. You figure they re-sign Eugene Monroe at the left tackle spot. They move on from Michael Orr, who's a free agent at the right tackle spot, and Luan fits that need nicely here You know, with this pick at number 16. Pick 17 belongs to the Cowboys. The Cowboys, to me, need help all along that defensive line, most notably at the tackle spot. All right, With the situation that happened with Jay Ratliff, you have Jason Hatcher, who's a free agent. Aaron Donald, the defensive tackle from Pittsburgh, is a guy that's been rising up a lot of draft boards since his senior bowl performance. But he's a guy who's very prolific at the college level, okay, winning all sorts of awards this year. A guy who I think will fit well in that cover two, which they will keep with Monty Kiffin coming back. So Aaron Donald, the defensive tackle from Pittsburgh to the Cowboys. Pick 18 belongs to the Jets. And the Jets are going to draft, to me, the best playmaker available when they pick. And to me, the best playmaker available right now is Eric Ebron, the tight end from North Carolina. Um, I'm not as high on Marquise Lee as some other people are. All right, so I have them taking Ebron here from North Carolina, the tight end, a true, a true, you know, dual threat guy. He's a great receiver. Okay, can cause a ton of mismatch problems, and he's put on a little bit of weight, which I don't think is a bad thing to help him a little bit um, in the blocking game as well. So Ebron from North Carolina, pick 19 belongs to the Dolphins, and you know the Dolphins 
you know, with all that incognito stuff that came out yesterday, you really begin to sort of think again about how much how much in shambles that offensive line is. It sort of just makes you think back. And I think because of that, they go tackle here. They take the best tackle available, and that's Cyrus Quanjo from Alabama. He could have a DJ Fluker type upside. A lot of the same questions uh, regarding Quanjo, the same as there were with Fluker last year. But I think he's a guy who could be a better pro than a college player. And we have Cyrus Quanjo going to the Dolphins. Uh, at pick 20, guys, the Arizona Cardinals. This is a team where it's it's you see a lot of guys, it's tough to match, you know, Who's, who's left with a need they have. I think they haven't have a need at cornerback. When you look at the Tyron Matthew injury last year, when you look at the fact they could be, you know, potentially have an issue with Patrick Peterson and his contract, and you look at the fact that Justin Gilbert is still here, and he's a guy that could play inside or outside as a corner, and a guy, again, my best available player that's left on the board at a position of need for the Cardinals, Justin Gilbert, the cornerback from Oklahoma State. Guys, let me know what you think. Um, of picks 11 through 20. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Be sure to check out the rest of the mock draft and all my other videos here on YouTube. And just a heads up, after the combine, um, I'll be doing multiple round mock drafts. So be sure to subscribe to get, you know, get all those as well. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.